All right, in this video series, I'm going to show you how to build a slideshow app. Um, I've got a kind of blank app, but I've loaded four images in. And so you can just choose a file or you can drag image files into your app over here on the left top of the designer. Okay. So anyway, I'm just going to add an, an image component and a button component. So I'm going to drag a button in, and this is going to be my next button. Okay. So in other words, you know, we're going to let the user navigate through four pictures of our slideshow by, by clicking next. And I'm just going to search for image and drag in an image component. And, you know, you need to mess around a little bit with the properties here, but I'm going to make the width of this thing relative size 90. Um, and that just basically means it's, it's going to go 90% of the screen. So however big your screen is, uh, the image will, will be that wide. And then on the height, I'm just going to um, do uh, uh, fit contents. Okay. Anyway, so just a blank thing right now. And, and I've got these four files. Um, and now I'm going to show you the code so that we're going to, we're going to, you know, be able to slide through this, the, the images. So in the blocks, the first thing I want to show you is a variable. And if you look over in this blocks, uh, you know, folders, there's one category called variables. And we're going to drag one of these guys out and we're going to call this our um, pick list. Okay. And we're going to make this a list. So I'm going to grab this uh, list block and right, you know, by default, it comes out with one, two, three, but you know, just a couple things. So variables are kind of like component properties, you know, like button.txt, they're memory, they're, they're named memory cells, um, but they're not part of a component. So in other words, we're just saying, you know what, we need some more memory cells and we're going to call the list of them pick list. And then we can put whatever things we want in there. And you can also click on this little blue block and add as many items as you, as you want. So now I've got four items in, in my list. Okay, what I want my list to have is basically the names of all the image files I have in, in my app. Um, so I'm just going to come over here, grab a red text block, and, um, you know, just make sure you get these names exactly right. But essentially, I've got, you know, I'm going to use Parks first, Hopper, Vaughn, and Ginsburg, and all with the JPEG, right? Um, so um, I'm just going to grab four of these red blocks and copy them in. I'm just using Command C and Command V to, to copy and paste. Okay, and re replace all all those. And then my first um, one I want to be Parks Rosa Parks. And then so I'm just going to type in and be very careful that you get the names exactly. Right. And then the second one is Hopper dot JPEG. The third one is Vaughn, which is spelled in a particular way. So make sure you get that one right. And then the fourth one is um, Ginsburg. All with the JPEG. And of course, whatever file names you've loaded in, um, you know, you could you could load completely different files. Just make sure you get those into your list named correctly. And, you know, that's one, you know, kind of motivation for keeping pretty simple file names <laughs> when you, when you build stuff. So I've got this variable. Notice it's got nothing to do with the user interface yet. This is a hidden variable that nobody can see. And um, what I'm going to do just, just in, in, in this video, uh, before we go, go to the next one, I'm going to just make it so when the screen opens, I'm going to show the first item in my list, okay, which is going to be parks. Now I could say, okay, well, let's just show parks, right? I could copy this and show parks. And that would work. Like if I go back to the designer and test this, when I preview, it's going to show the first picture I want, okay? But I really want to do it in a more generic way because remember, I might want to change my app and have different pictures, or I might let the user take use a camera or whatever to, to add new pictures. So I really want to generically refer to the first item in the list. And the way I'm going to do it 
is inside this list folder, um, there's a bunch of blocks to deal with lists. And if you scroll down, there's one called get. And that just lets you get one of the items. Okay, it's got a default list in there. We're gonna take that out. Let's kind of get rid of some of this stuff. But what we wanna do is get the first item, okay, from the list called pick list. So it's a little weird. We've defined this variable. So we've named a bunch of memory cells with these file names in them. And we can, we can get a reference to that variable inside the variables area, okay? And notice there's this thing called app variable pick list. Okay, so now what we're saying is when the app begins, when the screen opens, set the picture that shows to the first item in this variable called pick list. Okay, if I go back and test, it's just gonna give me the same, same preview. Of course, my next button doesn't work, right? And that's what I'll code, code next.